Hey guys, welcome back to Watchton Reef Junkies. Thanks for tuning in. Day three. We stayed last night, as you saw, at the Lion's Den. It was a great night. Uh, very affordable meals. Meals were good. Do yourself a favour, come here, have a visit. Pub's iconic. There's any cup in Australia like this. This is one and Daly Waters in the NT. Mm. So do yourself a favour, come and have a look at this place. It was great fun. Was we good. had live music. Live uh, music. Food was great. Yep. So reasonable price, very good price. Twenty five dollars yeah. for most meals for twenty five, thirty bucks. So. Yeah, so it was really, really great and yeah, met some new apprentices. Yes, we did. Yeah. We did. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna hit towards uh, Bloomfield and um, get on the Bloomfield track. We'll head over the ferry through the Dane Tree and we'll head home tonight. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. From Lion's Den to Cape Tribulation, it's about 74 kilometers. It takes around an hour and a half, depending on road condition. a drive to Wooja Woodjal on the Bloomfield River and beyond is definitely an unforgettable experience. It's some beautiful spectacular uh, views, creek crossings, it's got some great beaches, rainforest archway, majestic plants and uh, unexpected wildlife and history. The Bloomfield track is one of the most scenic short four-wheel drives in Queensland and definitely a must-do for four-wheel drive travellers. The track it was constructed in 1983 to 84. It led to the Bloomfield blockade, one of Australia's most important environmental protests. The area now has a World Heritage Protection and the track is now the iconic four-wheel drive experience in the tropical far north Queensland.
We are doing something good. Yeah, we'll take the rubbish. And I'll take the 20 cents as well. <laughs> It's been some years since I've done this Bloomfield track, but you'll notice in the vision on your screen there's some concrete uh, areas. Uh, that's to assist vehicles getting up and down these uh, steep inclines or declines. Uh, you also notice that they've built them with uh, plenty of drainage for water to run off, so this will assist some people who are towing a camper van or something through here. Uh, just keep in mind that it is quite steep, so if you're towing something, you'll have to take extra care and make sure your car and your brakes and your transmission are all up to scratch because you'll need it from this trip. out of this beach. Only because it was right close to the road. Unfortunately we can't do a lot of filming because we've got our dog with us, which is a bit of a pain but we're in a national park. But there are heaps of places all the way up there's some beautiful beaches, all the PK's resort, there's so many places to go camping. And here's this one little beach. It's quite nice.
On the way back to Cairns, we are going to catch the Daintree River Ferry. Of course, it's one of the iconic and popular attraction within this region. It started operating in 1933, where it only was capable of transporting three cars at that time. And look at it now. It also has become famous due to being featured in numerous films such as Crocodile Dundee, The Thin Red Line, The Pacific Rim and also in one of the horror movies called The Ferryman. The ride itself takes only approximately 10 minutes at this time, this time of recording the the clip we paid 26 Australian dollars for one way however you can actually book online the link will be in the description you can purchase a ticket online and if you do a return it's approximately 45 Australian dollars All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate uh, your time. And, uh, yes, thanks again. What have you got to say at the end here? Look at these two little lovers. <laughs> well, if you like the content and you would like to see more such content, please let us know down below in the comments. Yep. Uh, we would really, really appreciate that because it helps us as well to um, offer you and create some um, great Oh, adventures hopefully. and <laughs> get you a little bit closer to Cairns and the surrounds and see yep. what's well, we'll definitely do more of it if it's what you guys want Bella's had enough must be time to go <laughs> all right <laughs> and stay tuned for our next one yep because we'll start from doing some other stuff yeah all right thanks again let's catch you on the next episode cheers bye see ya